Hey guys, this is me Adita back on the H Star Industry and today I'm gonna be shooting a video on my cool latest fully functional Iron Man helmet and my new upgraded version of Arc Reactor. So let's start with my Iron Man helmet. This is actually uh, my Mark V because this is my fifth helmet but this also looks like Mark V a little bit, right? It's a little bit kind of like cartoon. Iron Man, but that's that's dope. Cardboard made out of like cardboards from my uh, as you can see nerd disruptor. This box, I thought, why do you waste it and just make a new helmet? Cause my old one looked pretty bad. It it looks fine, but not as cool as the new one, cause the paint jobs and all those stuff, and this had like some of those stuff right there but this one is better than that because this is like you can say fully functional for a paper because I can't like make those holograms and all those you know, letters appear out of nowhere so I created this helmet um, to make it look a lot like Iron Man Mark 42 or something I guess that comes up automatically to his face and all those parts and another cool function is this cool light right there you can see that bright right and this light you see here is from my and I got a little wire hanging for no reason just to show off uh, this this light is from my old video uh, my not quite old but my previous video I guess no two videos ago uh, that was my working Iron Man suit part one and two both and I had arc reactor in there and I took the light out and put it in there and the, I I have no specific reason for keeping green lights because I don't know greenery right Anyways, that's not only what this thing is about, okay? Not the light, not the cool stuff in there. Not the internals. The internals, fine. And the main thing is... That. And not that, okay? That. That's the main thing. See? See, totally disruptor. Now... This thing's gonna disrupt you if you don't subscribe. Just kidding. And look, let me focus on the details right there. And it's curve and all those stuffs. And as you can see there, there are like magnets right there. And three here, three there, which means a total of six. And on both sides, that means 12 magnets I have contributed in. Completing this entire thing, I got a plastic glass right there. Not exactly a glass, but it's just you no know, plastic. And in my main part right there, main helmet, that looks like that when this front piece comes up and it joins pretty easily, like so, like so, and comes out pretty easily as well. And I've written there Mark 5. Dope, right? That thing's hanging there. Now I'll just wear it and show you guys. And while making this thing, I think it took me about two days, I guess, because the paint had to dry and all this stuff, right? And there it is, how it looks when I wear it. And let me give you guys a side view. And a back view, it looks like that. And this side, and it is all the same. And, okay. No details to focus on right there. I really want to be the next Tony Stark, so I've been making a lot of Iron Man stuff. And there it is, the light. And my, this mask sticks on pretty easily.
looks cool, right? Now it comes out pretty easily as well, like just so. Awesome. Now the next thing I was talking about was my arc reactor. Now let me bring it. It's right there. This one is like totally modified and I don't know what to say about this thing. This is like total next level, like next generation arc reactor, okay? Looks small, right? Smaller than the previous one and almost alike, but the designs are different. This is my holder because if I put in my that armor slash kind of stuff, then that, this thing will surely glow. So I put it in there and then it doesn't glow, right? So I'll just put this thing aside and show you guys my arc reactor. That's how it looks from the front. And from the back it looks like that. And the sideways and all. Okay, those are not actual wires right there. Those are like, you know threads but these are the actual wires right there and there those are batteries and this is also a green one and a lot strong in this one I've used like five of the 1.5 volt batteries and in my Iron Man helmet right there I've used like about three of the 1.5 volts and look see that's that's pretty dope right it glows on its own. And close look at the designs again. I got as you if you look closer that those are staplers. So just to make it look awesome and I'll show you guys this uh, main function later on and there's the main core I call it because that was forged in A star. It's actually the the Keyring circular thing, and I bent it and created that. And yep, look, I'm just holding it on this side, and when it touches my body, it starts to glow. Or when it touches my skin, okay, I'm touching on these sideways, and I just touch it there, like so. Close. And this is pretty bright, right? Because I used five of the berries and. Yep, and if you guys want to see my mm, previous one, Arc Reacted, this is the Mark II because I just made two of them. If you guys want to see my older one, um, the link will be down below. And for my other stuff right there, I've got all over all those laying right there. And those stuffs are actually my almost 50% of my body that works. Like... I've used three motors, some lights, and then magnetic hand, and all those different stuff. So, to check those out, don't forget to tune in uh, and see my video that I've kept a link in the description down below. And let's let's show you something even cooler about this thing. It's uh, okay. I I can't express it. Okay, I'll just bring one of those stuffs right there, right here. See this? This is also from my previous video, and I used to keep my arc reactor right there. It fits and it gets, it sticks there. So I'll show you something cool before that. Look, wait, wasn't it? Really cool? See? Okay. Anyway, um. There it is, my arc reactor. Now, I was ta as I was talking right there, I'll just wear it and show you guys. I got a safety pin right there, so I can hook it in my t-shirt. This is also in my Iron Man Part 2, working Iron Man suit Part 2. And there it is. Now, the main cool feature is you see that red um, plastic bag right there. That's going to press it, so it's not glowing, right? Now it will. Not glowing. It's glowing. Now, 
The cool feature is this of these staplers is it can like be hooked on there. The staplers can be I'll just block the light. Hook to those rubber bands on both sides and I can totally be Iron Man right. See? That looks awesome, right? I can walk to all the places by being Iron Man. Now let me put on my helmet as well. Oops, almost dropped it. Hey guys. Okay, that's how I look. And the other stuffs I was talking about, I'll just give you guys some little sneak peek to those stuffs. But don't forget to check out my original videos with those stuffs, and those are right here. I got this what I call reflection panel. Oops, I was holding it wrong. There it is, and I got um, like a just useless stuff right there, and the main other stuffs are right here, the band that we put in our hands and then it starts spinning, it's like a machine gun, just a sneak peek, if you guys want to see it in detail I'll like put the link in the description to that video, the motor spinning. Uh, this, I'll not show it in detail because this thing is pretty cool. You gotta check that video out. And the main uh, stuff here are my repulsor blasters. These being the magnetic one with 24, I guess 24 magnets right there. And this being um, a repulsor with a fully functional um, motor and this can lift a stapler, so check that video out, link in the description. Thank you guys for watching this video, hope you enjoyed it, hope you got some inspiration to make this sort of cool Iron Man gadgets. And don't forget to subscribe my channel, like this video, comment me down below what should I do next in my next video. And this video was like, asked by a lot of you guys and like, uh, show me how to make the Iron Man helmet how to make the arc reactor but instead of that took me a lot of time so I didn't make the video and I showed it so one of those guys is Brick Slayer and Brick Skywalker yeah Brick Skywalker shout out to you and he's been a, uh, along with me for a very long time I know him I've, I've been reading his comments ever since he's asked me to do a lot of stuff but I'm thinking of doing it, but not yet, so I'll do those stuff later, and if you guys want to shout out like him, don't forget to comment me down below, and like this video. Bye-bye.